I was born on the north coast of Jamaica, and I came here when I was 24 years old. We had stories about lots of things, including there's nobody jobless in England, and the jobs were well paid. My thoughts and all the things I had in me before I step off that boat had vanished in thin air. You couldn't walk downtown and see a black person on the front of any shop, whether it was supermarket or whether it was anything. You wouldn't see them in the bank, they would have been in the back doing something. And if it was a big store, you wouldn't see them up front, no. They were color bar in every field. The color bar itself is, if I wanted a job from a white you, you'd say, no, I can't give you because you're black. Or you might not say that. You might just say, no, I don't want you. But back in 1963, what made the headline was when a young chap named Guy Bailey saw in the Evening Post that they need bus conductors. He tried to apply on the phone for an interview, and they said yes. And when he went, they said, it's a white chap talk to us. And he said, no, it's me because I speak English. And they refused even the interview. A lot of people was really angry about it. There was no such thing as a law. I think that never came until about nearly 70. Discrimination was not on the book at all. You could say, do anything. Whilst we can obtain white labor in this city, we intend to go on engaging white labor rather than colored labor. we decided to boycott the buses, which we did for six weeks. During the crisis, one of the bus drivers said to me, along with the bus conductor, if one of you come on here, my wife would never conduct on this bus. And I said to him, I gotta tell you something. If you want her to leave, tell her to leave now because we are going to come on those buses and we are going to conduct and in due time, we are going to drive it. Paul Stevenson was our spokesperson, and what the bus committee said to him was, they will allow a limited amount, but the limited amount did not have any number. It could be one, and it could be two. But they will allow them to be interviewed. They did interview an Indian bloke, and he was the first on the bus. We felt like we were winning. Not on a grand scale, but it's better to have one foot on the ladder than have no foot on the ladder. And we said, we'll take it from here. <laughs>